Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel, super excited. Beautiful day today. The sun just sort of starting to poke out. It's maybe minus four, light breeze, gorgeous day. You can see a bunch of forest behind me here. So I figured, why not camp? Why not camp tonight? So as you can see here, I'll just show you. I've got sleeping pad, fold out chair, pillow, sleeping bag. I've got another sleeping bag, my winter bag, tent, of course, bin with all of the gear. Stuff. I'm gonna get that fire going because I also have a really, really, really cool portable camp grill set up. And uh, so I'm gonna show you that one as well. Get this gear set up. Then I might go for a little journey out here through the forest and uh, I'm gonna bring you with me. So let's get started. So I've sort of decided over around here, I was looking to see what would be the best spot for me to set up. So there's a nice little flat plateau right here. I'm not gonna go into the forest for this setup. I'm gonna set up a little bit right on the edge here because it's gonna be closer to the fire pit for when I'm cooking and then in the evening if I'm having a fire, then it's really not that far to go to my tent. Now, well, the breeze has picked up, so sorry if it's a little bit windy. I just threw the shovel down and the pegs down just to hold it down uh, while the breeze is kind of whipping up here. Okay, tent is set up. I haven't put the fly on yet because I wanted to show you something, first of all, from the outside. Now this is a three season tent, two person. I like it as a one person because it gives me a little bit more room for my gear inside instead of a true one person, which I do have a summer one and I'll show that in another video. But I just wanted to show you here, this is not a winter specific tent, but because you see here, so this is the panel on the inside. Same thing with the venting on the top. So this one's closed and this one's open. You can see through the mesh there a little bit. I'm gonna zip this up after. The nice thing about this, and I've used this one for winter camping before, is that I can completely seal up the doors and the ventilation at the top, which gives me a little bit more protection keeps a little bit of the more of the elements out and you know that damp crisp air so it is a little bit warmer and of course the sleeping bag is going to make the biggest difference obviously but you can see here the panel is completely zipped up so this is fine for you know tonight minus five the weather's decent and i'm backyard camping i'm not back country camping so i'm going to get the rest of this set up get the fly put on get the stuff put inside and then i'll show you sort of what my uh, setup is going to be show you with the pegs now like i said before this is a three season tent a true winter tent would be freestanding and the fly would not need to be pegged down for it to function properly and be fully extended out. So I'm just gonna show you here, this one, the fly, this fly needs to be pegged down for it to extend out or it's not gonna function properly. So that's what makes this a three season tent, but I'm using it as a winter tent because why not? Now I'm just gonna show you. So I left the peg out a little bit here. Now for winter camping, you're going to need to have some aluminum or steel. You need some metal pegs because there's no way that you're gonna get a plastic peg into this hard ground. So of course I always have a hatchet with me. So I use the hatchet to peg this down, but I left it out a little bit just to show you that I've got a metal peg right here. And what I've done is I've secured all points. Here's the other side of the fly, right? So I've got all of these corners secured. I did not peg down the tent itself because I knew that I was gonna be pegging down all of the fly section. So that's gonna really make it hold up. You can see, I don't know if you can see that flapping a little bit right now. Sorry if it's loud, the wind is really, really picking up. So I'm gonna make sure these pegs get down nice and secure. Then I'm gonna start putting the rest of the stuff into the tent.
doing a little bit of tidying up, making sure that I've got everything that I need. Now I did go around and cinch up all of the straps on the tent. The wind's picking up. So I, I pounded down the pegs a little bit further in. I didn't go all the way. I mean, I'm in the backyard, so it's not a big deal. See, I cinched up all of these. Now, if you take a look at it, you can see the tent is, is really pretty taut. You can hear that too. So if I get some high winds, if I get some weather tonight, then, uh, you know, I should be uh, pretty protected. Got the gear, got the chair, snowshoes are on standby. So that's about it. wanted to mention let's just get this set up I just wanted to mention so about winter camping you know if if this is your first time that you're gonna go winter camping a couple things to keep in mind first thing always is safety right because we're in the elements because it's cold we have to be really cautious about that tonight's not gonna be really really cold but if you catch a chill it's really hard to get rid of that. So the very first thing that I'll recommend is don't use any cotton clothing. I'm not gonna get into the clothing and the gear that, that I'm using. I'm gonna do a whole episode on clothing, layering, all of that stuff. But for safety reasons, wear synthetics or wear wool. Do not wear cotton in the winter, especially when you do an activity like this because you're gonna get damp, you're gonna get wet from setting up and everything else and then you're just gonna stay wet and that's where you're gonna get cold, okay? All right, camera. Sorry, that might be a little bit bright. Got my headlamp going on here, so. Gonna get settled in here. Everything's all set, sleeping bag. Got some water. Everything else is put away. Had a nice little campfire going. So we're gonna crawl in here. Get this all closed up. There we go. All right. Well, that's about it. I'm just gonna zip myself into my little cocoon here. Maybe I'll turn off this headlamp. Might be a little bright. Okay. I don't know how well you can see me there, but uh, that's it. So I'm wearing wool socks, wool long underwear, wool shirt, sweater. I've got a toque on. So I'm pretty much covered head to toe with some wool. I'm tucked into the seating bag. And like I said before, you know, it's rated to about minus 20. Tonight's only supposed to be about minus five. It's not too bad in here at the moment. It might get a little bit cooler in the evening, especially if the wind picks up, but uh, I've got it all sealed up and shut down, so I should be pretty good. And uh, that's it, so uh, we'll call that a night and uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, let's have a look and see what's going on here. So there was a little bit of snow last night. We'll just have a quick little look, you can see here. So not too bad, not a lot of snow. I could hear it coming down a little bit, but uh, I think I passed out by by the time this all collected, I'm just gonna close this up and we'll give her a quick little shake. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, nice and dry inside. So that's a little bit of an overcast day today. Pretty mild though. I think it's uh, maybe just below zero. And uh, as you can see, tent held up well. So let's get that coffee in us. All right, so it's time to start making that coffee that I was talking about. Now, instead of using my regular camp stove uh, that's uh, white gas or naphtha or some type of fuel, I'm gonna try to light this up and see if I can, uh, if I can get the water boiling. This is a little bowl, a little, little bowl, little portable. I'm onto something. Little portable stove. So if you can see here, I think it's Uber Lieben. If any of you have seen this or you have one of these, if I'm saying that correct or not, I don't know, but see here, right? So this was a gift I got from my brother-in-law. 
Thanks, Mike. And basically what it is, okay, these are, those are just little uh, fire starter sticks, but there you go. So it's just a collapsible little stove. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together. There's our little stove. Now, what I've done is I've gone ahead and cut up a whole bunch of small pieces to fit inside of here. This is from some really, really dry wood that I use for kindling to start the big fire. So I cut them up into to small little, little pieces that I'm gonna use for this. Also, I have here dryer lint. This works awesome for starting a fire. So what we're gonna do is, it's our stove. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the dryer lint in, some of these sticks. Okay, we got some smoke going already. So let's turn this around so you can see what's going on. Okay, you can see. Now, I want these twigs to really get going. That's mainly just the paper right now. So I need to get this positioned so these twigs can get burning. All right, guys. Well, have a look. We got some pretty good flame ripping through here in this Uberlieben collapsible stove. Our water. Oh, look at that. We got water boiling. Man, that was quick. Holy moly. Okay, well, uh, if we need to cook anything else, we got lots of heat in here. So here we go. Got my mug. Beauty. All right, stir that up, and uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this hot chocolate, and then uh, I think it's about time to start breaking down the camp. So um, that's about it for now. I'll get back to you shortly. All right guys, so the uh, camp is put away. Time to end, end this adventure and uh, move on to the next. I hope you enjoyed that. Just a little something, you know, to get outside, enjoy it. The sun's starting to shine now. Clouds have rolled out. Here in Ontario in the winter, when the sun comes out, it means it's getting cold and I, I can feel it, but it's still a gorgeous day. So I'm off to the next and uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And uh, my question for you is, What's your next adventure? All right, we'll see you in the next. Cheers.